Hello and welcome back to Pass the Turn. I hope everybody is having a fantastic holiday period as much as you can during this obviously trying time. Um, it's been a weird year for a lot of us and I hope that next year, 2021, we can cast a shadow on this year and just hopefully continue with our lives, continue playing magic, continue being geeks and being able to have people in the same room as you. Virus, just go away, die a horrible and painful death and never come back, please. This has been one of the worst years possible and a lot of people are feeling it. And uh, I just thought I'd do this video today. It's more of a talking head video around getting back into magic because I've spoken to a particular family member this Christmas, Mark Eatson. Uh, you can go check out his channel uh, at the top right corner. He's a massively creative uh, inspiration to me and uh, he continues to create and make music and do awesome stuff in his life. So definitely go and follow him um, if you can. But Mark was the, the person who got me into magic 15, 20 years ago. He was playing with a red and green manor intensive deck that, ra that ran cards such as Findhorn Elders, Nantuko Elders, Lanoir Elves, just mana dorks that created mana so he could eventually blaze you away with blaze, do X damage to target creature or player, or things like Crimson Hellkite, which was an absolute staple back in the day, or just pump up a Shivan Dragon with all the excess mana that you could generate in his deck. Um, and it was red and green, otherwise now known as Gruul, and it was the epiphany of just big mana damage back in those days 15 20 years ago um, and that's what got me into the game he was casting some big dragons some elves creating loads of mana playing some big flashy burn spells and I was hooked 15 20 years ago and since then built up a collection sold a collection built up a collection again and now exclusively play the multiplayer format known as commander so it's, it's been a weird journey for Magic the Gathering players, and I think that now is the time. If you've ever played Magic in the past, fell out of love of it for whatever reason, life got in the way, and now you have some spare time, some spare cash, throw it at this game, because it is probably the best social game that you can play. And the formats that we have access to now, the game styles that we have access to, will allow you just to connect to your cards and your deck on a completely and utterly different level. So... That game is known as Commander. So it's still Magic the Gathering, but Magic the Gathering is the game. Commander is the gameplay style or the format. Now, Commander, I have six, uh, sorry, seven decks at the moment. So these are my decks currently. Uh, obviously, got two in progress here, but this is the this is the set this is the scale of the addiction when it takes hold of you as a Commander player or as an old school Magic player. Back in the day, um, uh, multiplayer magic was not a conventional thing to do. It was all about going down to your local game store, Friday night magic, 1v1, tournament style, competitive play. And where that has a purpose in the grand economy of Magic the Gathering, the real good times, the real stories that you could tell were in multiplayer magic. Just getting some friends together who all love the game, some more than others sometimes, throwing some cards on the table, casting some spells, and just having a massive debate, political sort of experience. And that was what magic was all about back then. Um, and it's come full circle because now the most popular the pop, most popular game style or format in Magic is this multiplayer commander format and these are commander decks here. Now, uh, this is hurting my arms, this is very heavy so I'm going to put this down. Um, but, but yeah, commander is... I don't want to say the lifeblood of Magic but it's definitely the soul of what Magic in, encapsulated back in the day when we used to play it when we were younger, um, and I think it's just one of the best the best games you could you could play. I've probably said that three or four times now, but the idea is, you your commander deck is led by a certain creature or a certain character of Magic: The Gathering's history. So you go through your card collection, or you go on the internet and just find a legendary creature that you like the look of. Uh, for instance, this one, Ataka World Render. This is my commander for my dragon deck. Um, and 
if you, if you read the text there, it says whenever a dragon you control attacks. Dragons, you, we, well, no, it's not. No, I'm reading reading the wrong card. Uh, whenever a dragon, no, whenever a dragon you control attacks, it gains double strike until end of turn. So this deck, what you want to build this deck on is written on the card here. You just want to have loads and loads of dragons attacking because they're going to get double strike until end of turn. Absolute madness. Fantastic deck. Absolutely love it. And uh, it's just brilliant because Commander, you just you just basically create your own deck from the character that you wish to portray, and that is the connection factor to this whole format. Is you select a character just like a fighting game, and then you have that character lead your entire deck, and you build your deck around that character. So most of the time, when you sit down to play with your friends or with another play group, maybe in a local game store when COVID is over, hopefully we'll be able to get back to that eventually. But when you turn up to a table, you've got a few decks to play that are going to be different to everybody else's deck because everyone else is going to be running a different different kind of character, different kind of commander and that just makes for massively awesome experiences because nobody is going to be running the same deck. You will get people that are just running the most powerful commanders out there just for the crack and you will get CEDH players which are competitive Elder Dragon Highlander players. EDH means Elder Dragon Highlander, that's one of the old titles of the game back when it was first released, well not, not released, but first inceptioned, inceptioned, rubbish words going on here, trying to pluck out good words from the air and it's just failing miserably. When the game was first created, it was called Elder Dragon Highlander and you had to pick from five Elder Dragons, so it was a lot more restrictive back then because you could only have one of the Elder Dragon Highlanders as your commander. Um, and uh, yeah, it was quite restrictive back then, but it's evolved it evolved into a game where you could just create any deck you want with any of the legendary creatures in the set, which is just absolutely fantastic. So, a couple of different rules with with uh, Elder Dragon Highlander or EDH. Your deck is comprised of 100 cards. So back in the day, you probably sat around the you probably sat around the kitchen table with your mates and you played 60 card decks. Um, with 20 life each, or what have you. I mean, a lot of kitchen tables back then are just making up their own rules, uh, but that's the beauty of the game. You can just take, obviously, the template of the game and just make it your own. Uh, there's so many other formats out there as well, like Planes Chase and all sorts of good stuff. But, Commander, you have a deck of 100 cards. That includes your Commander. So you have your Commander and a deck of, one, a deck of 99. So you have your one Commander card, that is going to lead your deck and then you have 99 cards including lands that you want to have in your uh, in your deck and another rule is you only can you can only have one copy of each card in your deck so you can't have three Lanoir elves you can't have two Nantuku elders you have only have to have one of each card and the good thing about that is it keeps games fresh you're not drawing the same stuff over and over and over again you're seeing new cards crop up every time you play of your own deck and it creates a, a sort of randomness i mean there are ways to smooth out your uh, your gameplay with other cards and obviously the magic minds out there you can figure that out for yourself but one copy of each card only you can't have more than one and i think that just lends itself to the experience that every single creature every single character every single spell is unique in your deck you only have one copy um, and that makes the cards that you get scarce as well so if you draw a really really good card that you really like and then it dies you're like ah oh, no how am i going to get out of this it's um it just it just lends itself to more inventive and creative deck building as well so the one copy of each card restriction is also very very uh, intuitive as well and i forgot to mention your deck can only have cards that are the same colour as your commander's colour identity. So I should have probably said this first. But colour identity is determined by the mana symbols on your commander's card. So let's go back to Ataka World Render. Uh, I'll just flash it up for you now. As you can see there, Ataka World Render has a red and a green mana symbol in its converted mana cost at the top of the card which means that I can only have red cards or green cards in my deck. I can't have blue because a target does not have blue on there. If a target had blue on there that would be sick but it doesn't unfortunately. So you can only have cards that are within your car, uh, your commander's 
color identity. Um, there are loads and loads of caveats as well with like hybrid mana and all that sort of stuff. But if you want to make a deck, just use this video as your conduit into the world of Commander. Go and have a look at the rules. There's a couple of caveats, but yeah, most of the time it will adhere to the Commander's color identity, which is the mana uh, symbols on the card itself. But it's just another restriction that's placed upon your deck, which will allow for more creative choices. Um, so, so yeah. Commander, also, the life totals will start at 40 rather than 20. So if you're used to a conventional game of Magic that starts at 20 life, in Commander, it's double that. Because you have four players around the table, you have more accentuated decks, you've got uh, less consistent decks as well, so the higher life total um, is absolutely paramount. And Commander is just a game style or format that is known for big, splashy plays. Lots of damage, lots of awesome effects going on, so the higher life total doesn't really matter. Um, the games of Commander can probably go on for two, three hours, depending on how grindy your deck is, how aggressive your deck is. Normally, a game of Commander is basically sitting down to play a board game. That's how intense it gets. Um, and yeah, there is also another rule as well where you can die if you get hit by 21 commander damage. So each player's commander can eliminate another player if they do a collective amount of damage that totals 21. So if my dragon, Ataka, I'll flash her up again here. If she did 21 damage to you in a game, you would you would be eliminated. <laughs> so, commander damage is also quite a relevant thing. You can have um, entire decks built around trying to eliminate people with commander damage. Because ultimately, if you're suiting up your commander and making your commander do all the damage, you only have to do 21 damage to somebody because um, you're hitting with your commander. It, 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 that is your whole game style, is just doing the damage by your commander to make, to you know, ho hopefully win the game quicker. Um, so yeah, there's whole strategies built around that. Uh, but that's just another important thing to know, is that you can die if you get hit by someone else's commander uh, for a total of 21 damage. Um, so you do have to track each player's commander and how much damage they've done to you, which, which can just be done in the form of dice or the form of apps like Lifelinker. Uh, and loads of other apps out there as well that you can go check out for your phone. Um, but yeah, so a very, very important thing to note is that you can die if someone's commander does a total of 21 damage to you. So it's obviously worth making and keeping those commanders in check when they're out on the field. Make sure they're not getting too much damage in on you. Um, but I think that's all of the, uh, that's all of the rules. Um, I play commander quite a lot, but I think that's all I can think of. Uh, that, that's um, that, that's paramount. Um, one thing that may be different is that you draw on your first turn because it's a multi multiplayer game. Um, everyone draws on their first turn, um, whereas I don't, in one v one, I don't think you do. Um, but uh, yeah, forgive my ignorance. I just do not play one v one magic. It's absolutely garbage in comparison to commander or multiplayer formats. So yeah, if you're looking to get back into magic. Commander and the experiences that you had when you were younger probably will lean into what Commander is and what Magic has become around that format because Commander is all about the social gathering. Magic the Gathering is the gathering of friends. It's the gathering, Magic the Gathering, Commander, multiplayer. That is where you want to be uh, in, this sort of, in this sort of day and age. There are other formats that are quite interesting, but ultimately I, th I just enjoy the social aspect. And I know that we can't have the social aspect at the moment, which sucks. Um, the UK has gone into a stupid tier system um, when we should have just been in full lockdown for the entire time until it just eased off. Uh, but will it ease off? We don't know. That's another rant in, in, in its entirety. But um, yeah, the, the sooner we can have the gathering back, the better. Um, and I will just take a moment to plug our Discord. Um, so if you look in the show notes below, you can join our Discord channel, um, and we're organising games on there every sort of every sort of every couple of days. There's someone saying, "Oh, who wants to play a game? Who wants to play a game of Commander?" So go and join that. 
and get involved with our with our games. Uh, we are we are UK based, so if you're in America or uh, Japan or somewhere on the other side of the world, it might be difficult to. Um, to get a game with you uh, because of the time difference but we will sort something out if you want to play with us and yeah all you need really is a webcam um, to play magic I've got a zoom account so I host a zoom uh, a zoom call where we can all play and uh, obviously there's also apps and browser based um, programs like spell table that's all the rage at the moment um, albeit there, there are some technical difficulties of it sometimes but yeah join the discord get involved with some online commander um, if you want to dip your toe in and if you have never 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 played commander you don't have a magic collection anymore go and get a commander deck uh, there's commander decks out there um, that will have 100 cards in them they've got a couple of commander choices in there as well so you can switch them out and uh, get a feel as to what commander is all about and the pre-cons it's worth picking one of those up because they can normally hang with other people's decks on a um, on a casual level so go and check those out if you want to get into the game, get into Commander. Um, and uh, and yeah, um, it's just a fantastic game, and I can't I can't preach about it enough. But this video really is for people that have maybe played the game in the past and then have obviously dropped off at some point in their lives because obviously their life has become busy, and now it's sort of. You found your path in life. You've got a bit of money. You got a bit of money to spend. You got a bit of extra time to to invest in a hobby, and now you want to revisit that magical experience that you had when you were younger, playing on the pavement, playing with the, on the kitchen table against all your friends. That is Commander. That is Magic: The Gathering format. Commander. Get into it now. It is blowing up. We've just had a set called Commander Legends come out, and that is just a set of well, an expansion set of magic based for commander players so that tells you that gives you an indication of the where commander multiplayer world is going um, so it's a great time to get back into it i fully recommend it and if you like this video please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as well that would be absolutely fantastic and yeah make sure you check out that discord link if you want to get involved with our sort of over the web um over the web it's a very old saying over the over the webcam um, sort of online gameplay. Uh, we're organising them all the time, so hit that little Discord link, go and join it, and uh, and yeah, chat to us. We're always talking about magic and all sorts of geek stuff in the chat. Um, go check out our podcast as well. We do stream live every Tuesday or Thursday, depending on the schedule. Um, but we are streaming every week. Uh, a live podcast and then you can then go and check out or listen to again on uh, Spotify or SoundCloud uh, so we do do that as well quite a lot and um, the Pass the Turn Versus series uh, is a series where we go out and challenge local game stores to a game of two-headed giant commander which is a team versus team game um, so that's a that, that's a good series obviously it's stopped now due to Covid um, but that's going to be well on its way again we've got shops lining up to get involved um, so uh, yeah we'll get that back on the road as soon as possible and yeah just general gameplay episodes deck techs all that sort of stuff you can come to expect it has been a quiet period at the moment just because it's just been I've started a new job personally um, and I just haven't had the time to edit like our online gameplay sessions and stuff but hopefully in the new year we're going to have more people editing more people doing stuff uh, rather than just me and uh, and yeah it's uh, hopefully going to be a good year next year hopefully there's um, some, some some restrictions ease off the vaccine does something um, you know the sort of all the all the horrible numbers and stuff that have been put out there all the negativity starts to die off and covid starts to die off so yeah if you're watching this video and you are a content creator as well if you create content for magic let's network let's do some stuff together let's push each other's channels let's push each other's platforms if you're find you if you're finding this through edh rec and you play and you play commander click the little discord get involved make some videos with us and yeah we will we, we'll be happy to collaborate so thank you very much for tuning in to this talking head video if you are still around right now thank you very much hope you have a good christmas and new year and let's hope that 2021 can be another awesome year for magic and an awesome year for humanity in general. Peace.